Welcome back to round two of our discussion, Android versus iOS, what you need to know about mobile applications for your business. Android is an open source operating system, uh, and that's lent itself to being uh, used on a wide variety of devices, everything from wristwatches to smartphones to tablets, and even Intel has announced in the, the next year or so that they're going to be putting uh, Android in a um, uh, laptop. So it's a very diverse uh, in terms of the hardware and vendors out there. Um, there's not just one source for the hardware. And they also make uh, vendor-specific customizations to the operating system. And th that's what's uh, often called fragmentation. Uh, you hear that term thrown about um, it, in regards to Android. But that diversity of hardware also gives you um, new technologies and access to, access to things um, that you may not have thought of before. Uh, for example, NFC or near food communication, which has a lot of potentials for, say, the restaurant industry. You just set your phone down and it knows you're there to, or to be able to pay. It does take a little bit more time to uh, code to those specific hardware dependent features, uh, but the base Android operating system is common across all of them. And if you do your development right and you know what you're doing, uh, it doesn't really take any additional time unless you're using those device specific hardware features. Jeff, can you tell us a bit about iOS and the different software and hardware features um, that it provides? Well, most of the devices are similar. Uh, Apple controls both the software and the hardware, so you don't have quite the level of diversity between the devices and, uh, and the features that each support. With the iPhone 5, Apple decided to get in the bigger screen game, and rumor has it that the screens will get even bigger still with new releases, but that's just rumor at this point. Uh, I think the bigger screen sizes on Android ended up being a pretty successful feature. So Android, I mean, uh, Apple decided to follow suit with that. Uh, unlike Android devices, Apple doesn't support near field communication for mobile payments. Uh, instead, they use their own solution called Passbook. And that's, uh, it seems they approach the whole payment and ticket scanning thing in a different way. Uh, one area I'd say where iOS excels is in uh, third party peripherals. They have lots of accessories made for their devices. Um, I don't know how that compares to Android, but I do know that there's a lot of stuff on the market that can uh, attach to an iPhone. I'd say the biggest difference between the two really is in how people organize their lives around their devices. Apple users tend to have iPods, iPhones, iPads, Macs, um, and all the devices sync across iCloud. And Andrew, Android users tend to use uh, a whole suite of different services, mostly go Google services for organizing their lives. So thank you for tuning in today. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which will have new and exciting video blogs coming out frequently. And until next time, see you later.